and we are back on the hunt within Predator Hunting Grounds. What's up everyone, it's Acid Glow here. So, I finally got a chance to pick up that DLC with the three Predators from the AVP movie from 2004. This one contains full characters of Scar Predator, Celtic Predator, and also Chopper Predator. So I'm going to use Chopper for this video, which contains a set of four matches, two day maps, and two night maps. Wow, look at the design. The armor plating is so cool. And I love the skulls on the back of his shoulders. All right, so out of these specializations, I'm looking at Ghost. Yes, attacking with melee from Cloak deals additional damage. Right there, I'm thinking, I'll try to copy the build I made for my Samurai Predator a long time ago with uh, Ghost, the Battle Axe, and also maybe another perk to boost my melee damage. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, based off of those three specializations, that seems like the best one. All right, so we're going to use the... Uh, the Ultra Bow for long range attacks. And then of course we're gonna have the uh, Battle Axe, which is our main damage dealer when you engage in close range combat. So that should be pretty good. That has a primary and also a devastating secondary attack. So as for the gear, we're gonna use the healing kit as usual, the bear trap, and also the audio decoy. And as for the perks, we have a limit of 10 points, so we're going to use Impenetrable to take less damage from bullet-based weapons, and also Fearless, which adds more damage to melee-based weapons. So, our Battle Axe with the secondary attack while invisible, that initial attack will do big damage, providing you can hit the target. Alright, so let's begin. So this is the uh, first of four matches. This one is on a day map. I really don't like night maps. As I've said before in a couple of videos, I like day maps. Yo, I love the two skulls on the back of his shoulders. That's a great addition to the costume or the character's design overall. So, oh, he's also got the very long wrist blades. Look at that. Yeah, they're really long. That is nice. Looking good, Chopper Pred. It looks good, I like it. Okay, so let's be on our way here. All right, so 15 minutes of game time in total. And uh, let's have a look over here. Uh, whoa, is it just me or does this character drain energy very fast? I'm down to 50% already. Wow, okay, damn. Okay, let's have a look here. Let's, uh, oh, well, the regeneration is pretty quick. Okay. So, draining energy while invisible and using thermal vision, yes, is very fast, but also regeneration seems pretty good as well. So, I don't think this character can be based off a build of, you know, plasma, unless you put a lot of those uh, plasma-based perks on, but then you gotta also consider the specializations also to see if they fit into that kind of build. But from what I see, I think Ghost along with the uh, melee damage perk and the battle axe would be the best suited build for this character class overall. So let's get to the uh, first enemy. Oh, missed the swipe. Low on energy. They run, wow, look at that one swing, damn. Okay, whoa, that was not the best idea. What I should have done is uh, gone a bit uh, further back and used the, uh, the bow, but that's okay. Second one is down. Okay, we'll use the bow on this one. You know, maintain our range. I'm getting shot in the back, but not taking that much damage. That's fine. Jump over here. Yo, he got up. Oh, he must have had those uh, self-reviving uh, syringes, I think. Yeah, it's been a very long time since I played the human class, so yeah. All right, so he's down now. We'll keep our distance and... Uh... Whoa, he got up again? Like, how many of those can you equip on your character? Like, what, two or something? That's really good. That's fine. Okay, so the other dude is also down. We'll take down this dude who's crawling behind the tree. He's done. All right. We'll jump over here. Yeah, my energy drains very fast and I'm also pretty weak. So let's find one of those uh, those uh, hogs or wild pigs or boars. I forget what they're called, you know, whatever. All right, so there's one here. Hopefully nobody tracked me down to shoot me when I'm trying to heal or eat so that should be good all right two are down and there's two alive we'll go back over here and i saw somebody run inside this uh facility we'll chase him down with the battle locks and try to swing missed always turn invisible 
when you're gonna do that swing for massive damage just like that damn okay so we'll wait for his uh, teammate to come by I could rush the other guy and finish him off but I want to give my chance to pick him up because I want to weaken that one to put a skull over his head unless of course they take too long but uh, let's see here I'll weaken him I'll try to get his teammate when he gets up uh, nope gotta wait I'll jump in let's uh, chase him down so I can down him again my energy is very low need that damage boost while invisible damn there we go, one more, swing, there we go, he's down, okay, jump away, recharge the energy and just be patient and wait. Now you might be saying, well, this axe build seems very overpowered, well, it's kind of supposed to be because I'm adjusting everything like my specialization, my weapons, my gear and perks for that specific attack method, but at the same time, I'm weaker in long range damage and also I burn through energy very fast with this character so it's mostly a build for close range single attacks with melee while invisible so that is the attack method for this build overall or if you want you can make a build that has small upgrades to different factors of a class like for example you can have one that uses less energy with its abilities have one that has maybe more stamina regeneration and a boost to long range or melee damage at once so it depends do you want a powerful build with one specific attack method or a balanced one that has different attack methods but with only a smaller upgrade depends but for this one i'm going to use this build it's really not that different from other games like i'd say uh aliens fire team elite Diablo, World of Warcraft, or games that have this whole access to where you can customize your characters, abilities, their gear, their skills, and stuff like that. If you find there's like one specific skill that is really good, or uh, a piece of gear, or a weapon that is really effective, then you want to base your entire build off that specific attack method to make it very effective, I'd say, for bosses or maybe single targets or mobs of enemies and stuff like that. So it's really not that different. Like if you create a build that is strong in one specific attack method, sure, it's gonna be strong, but in other factors, it's going to be weaker. I will go back and have a look at Scar Predator and also Celtic Predator and have a look at their specializations and kind of see if there's a specific build that I might enjoy using with those characters. But uh, for now, I want to play as uh, Chopper because I do like that gill pattern over the mask and also the extra items on the back of his shoulders, you know, the skulls there. That's a really cool thing to have, so it's just something extra. So anyways, where is this other dude? There he is here. We'll get him with uh, melee. Try to only attack when you're invisible to get the boost from the specialization, which means you do more melee damage when you're invisible. All right, good. So, I think there should be another one, or two, I believe. Let's have a look if I can find out. Yeah, you see my target isolation. Why is there like a huge 30 second cooldown? It's so long when humans can spot you every single second. And when they spot you, they basically put a tracking green icon over your character. And I think it lasts, what, five seconds, but you can continuously you know, track the predator, putting the icon over them over and over and over. I think the tracking or the spotting ability should have some kind of cooldown. Just the same way as my target isolation has a very large cooldown to track them in return. So, okay. So there's three left, two are down. And there's this dude, I'll hit him once. Trace who he backs off. He's gonna rush inside the warehouse, I guess. There's two still down over there. What's he going to do from here? Let's wait. He's down there. And I think, yep, they're going out. Okay, let's have a look. Is that one still alive? I think one is done. Not sure if the other one is alive. He's going to try to revive. I'll rush in. Nope, okay. So it's down to him and me, and that's it pretty much. All right. In the meantime, we'll take a big risk and try to eat. Hopefully he does not hear me. Okay, we're good. Alright, so. 
fire team calling reinforcements. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, we'll take the bear trap and we'll place one over here. Then we're going to jump back on the top of this warehouse, switch to the plasma caster and prepare to fully charge it and blast someone who gets captured by the bear trap right over here. There we go, there's one. Focus on this target. Just shoot it again, he's down. Switch to the bow, rush in and try to finish him off because we do not want them to revive their teammates. That one's down. Okay, two down, that's good. And oh, that one saw me, okay. Oh, they're both there, that's okay. We'll try to take down this one. That one's done. I'll recharge a bit. Yeah, you burn through energy really fast if you use invisibility and thermal vision. Yeah. And okay, these two guys are here. Okay. Alright, down to two. Okay. Jump over here. And then, oops, I fell down. That's okay. We'll get one of these uh, wild pigs. So it's available a bit later on. And I think somebody saw me. Yes, okay. We'll place a bear trap in the corner. Just in case. Nope, didn't get him. We'll rush in while invisible. Oh, missed. Go invisible again. Take a swing. Got him once. Turn invisible. Oh, there we go. Got that one. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Where's his teammate? There he is. Let me try to rush in. And then get him when he's up. Oh, I missed. Okay. Hit him again. Only when I'm invisible to get the extra damage boost. Okay, got him. Jump away. Then recharge my energy. And I'll wait a bit. I'll see what his next move is. Either you try to pick him up and I'll shoot you, or you take off alone. Let's wait for him to get up. And he's down. And uh, we should have just one target left. Okay, yep. Last one alive. Okay. So it's up to you. What do you want to do? Whoa! Glitches, man. Glitches. That was weird. Okay. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to recharge my health to prepare myself for the final battle. And there should be uh, some wild boars or wild pigs over here that I left behind. Yeah, there's one. I'm not sure where the last human ran off to. If he went to the objective or if uh, he's sticking around. We'll see. There's some more uh, pigs over here. Or boars, whatever they are. All right, so I guess in the meantime, we'll get uh, these trophies. All right. This one too. All right, good. And uh, we'll do a scan. Uh, oh, okay, he's not covered in mud. He's up here on the rooftop, I guess, for his final stand. Yep. There is the last target. Okay, we'll switch to the uh, battle axe. Stay invisible. Hit him. Go invisible, hit him again, and he's down. That's pretty much it. All right. Uh, oops, I'm getting shot in the back. Okay. No, we don't want to heal. I want to get him out of there. All right. Now I'm going to heal. And there's enemies in the back. Okay, we'll go invisible. We're going to heal first. Cancel it. And then get the trophy. And that's pretty much it. So uh, that's the end of two matches in the day maps. Let's try the same build in some night maps, which I'm not too fond of. Alright, so on to the third match. And this is the first of two in the night. And this is Airstrip. Oh, we just did Airstrip, but it was the day version. But now it's the night version. Alright. Yeah, I do like this map. I like the uh, design of this one. So, let's uh, go on the rooftop. Looking good there. Okay, so I don't know which way they're coming from. I don't want to do target isolation yet. I'm going to guess they might be coming from this area in front of me on this angle. Let me just try to uh, have a look here. I'll zoom in and let's see. Bam! I saw it. I saw it. I saw something move. Okay, so they are coming in this direction. So let's put a bear trap here just in case. Switch the battle axe. And from here, we're going full on melee, as usual. That's what this build is focusing on. And there's my first target right here. And one swing. 
Two swings and it's down. And let's take out. Whoa, that was a bad decision. Uh, yeah, that was a bad decision. Do not rip out the trophy right there. What I should have done is um, turn invisible and use the uh, Yautra bow to pick him off in a distance, which would have been safer, but yeah, that was a big mistake. I took a lot of damage. Second one is down. We're about the skull. And, wow, same mistake. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're okay. Okay. I took a lot of damage. Okay, from two trophies. Bad decision. Okay. I got these uh, wild pigs. Or these boars ready. And uh, people are targeting with their sniper rifles. Please do not shoot me. Do not shoot me. Please. Just don't shoot me, okay? I'm healing here. Oh, I took a shot. That's okay. One shot was... Okay, I survived. Good. Low on energy. Okay, so two of them are down. There should be two left. Where are they? Where did you run off to? Yeah, I think I saw movement right here. There you are. Okay, so they're out in the open. Going towards the plane. They're both here. Okay, I'm going to rush them. Oh, wow, one hit. I got lucky there. I'll jump away. I got spotted. And I'll take out my bow. I'll see what you're going to do. Whoa, almost got me. And you're going to try to revive your teammate. I'll shoot you once. Twice, you're down. So what is your teammate going to do? Are you going to revive or run? Yeah, at this point, they don't stand much of a chance. But uh, we'll see. Nope, he spotted me. <laughs> Even when he's down. Okay. I did weaken him, so he's running out of time before he bleeds out. So his team has to rush to pick him up, but we're going to finish him off too. Turn invisible and whack him. Yeah, extra damage. And we are done. That was a quick match. Just rushed him. And here we go. The final match of this video. Okay, this is the fourth match here. And this is the second of the night ones on Overgrowth. It's a good map also. Looking good, Chopper. Nice. Those massive blades, man. Nice. Looking good. I like it. Alright, so let us uh, continue. Let's move on. Let's have a look here. Anybody? Any uh, gunfire? Yeah, I don't want to use the target isolation right away, but I might have to. Unless I see gunfire signals in thermal vision or hear something not sure let's go this way i might see something moving if i go somewhere different and have a look around let's see can we find out where they are i'm um, just looking around looking for those signals that indicate there's been gunfire um, it's not easy to always track them at the start if they're not shooting or making any noise. But, uh, oh, there we go. I saw him right in front of me. Okay. I want to hit this one at least once just to uh, weaken him and slow him with the uh, arrow, but it didn't work. So we'll rush him with the battle axe, hit him again. Always when you're invisible, and damn, I got hit by that EMP. Okay. Wow, the energy regeneration on this class is pretty quick. Yeah, it's good. No, there's one. There's two here. We'll rush this one. Always turn invisible. Yeah, for that extra damage with uh, the ghost specialization. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Damn, okay. All right, let's take cover. And let's wait for my... Uh, energy supply to be available because I want to turn invisible and use thermal vision let's have a look up here did anybody come to your rescue not yet you crawled your way all the way over the edge and uh, let's see oh someone is coming but we're gonna finish you off all right this guy's here and well I can't see yeah a bit too close there oh he's down okay, let's get out of here my energy is getting low okay so one is dead, one is down, and there's, oh, dude to the left. Got him, I think. Let's uh, get the battle axe, let's rush in, and then whack, got him, nice. Damn, look at my body, I'm like a walking glow stick. 
You can easily see me just covered in green blood all over the place. We'll jump over here again. Let's see, there's one moving down over there. My energy is low, I need to recharge because I do need energy to get that bonus damage with uh, the specialization ghost while invisible. So it's not a plasma build, it's not a long range build, it's not really a stealth build per se, it's more like one hit big damage. That's pretty much what it is. But uh, I got to manage my, uh, my energy very carefully. All right, let's uh, eat this and heal, get back some health. There we go, we're good. And I see one on the right. I think there's one, yeah, there's, yeah, one over there, along with a trophy. Oh, there's a body up there, nice. Get the battle axe out, we'll rush this guy, and then whack, got him. He's down. Good. We'll try to wait to see if your teammate is going to come close to you. We'll see. I don't think so. Okay, we'll just finish you off. Okay, that's it. He's done. Okay. Two are eliminated and two are still alive. I think for this match, we'll go a bit slower. Whack! Still alive. Hit him a second time and he's down. Yeah, I think for this match, we're not going to eliminate them that fast like in the previous matches i think we're going to let them uh call in reinforcements so we're going to prolong the match and make it last a little bit longer depends i mean there's some people that will i guess when they're down to the last man or two they'll just camp in a building and just wait for you and not even do the objective other people will actually try to do the objective at the very end but uh we'll see what happens we'll see all right, I think my health is pretty good so far, but uh, we'll get these trophies. Nice. Then we'll head back. Let's see. Okay, this one is over here. So there's two. Just to move it around. Whoa, okay. Died right away. Okay. <laughs> Might as well get the trophy. Okay, down to one target. So it's up to you. Are you going to camp out and... Uh, have a last stand inside the building or are you going to run out and try to uh, reinforce your teammates sometimes i will let them reinforce other times i won't i just want to end the match but uh considering that the previous uh, three matches went by pretty quick i think for this one we're going to make it last a little bit longer so we can have more fun and kind of just play around and enjoy the thrill of the hunt you know as they say so anyways Let's go over here. Yeah, this class burns through energy very fast when using invisibility in a combination with uh, thermal vision. Okay, he's going to call in reinforcements. I'll place some bear traps around here if I can find a good angle, which the game is not letting me. Okay, put one there. And uh, one more, that's three. And I think they saw my bear traps even in darkness, they can see it. I guess. All right. Oh, you can see me up here. Wow, look at my health just drain really quickly. Look at that. And you're telling me the battle axe build is OP? Look at my life. It just, you know, it got zapped really quickly from long range. That was ridiculous. So you can't say this battle axe build is OP because humans can do really good damage. And that wasn't even all four of them shooting me. It wasn't. So, oh, this dude might see me, but I'm still invisible. And we'll just jump away. There we go, jump. And seems like he's gonna stay up here. Oh, not the wrist blades. Yeah, they're not that effective. I need the battle axe because it has that primary wide swing, which covers a bigger gap. Let's have a look. Okay, both are up here. Oh, again, with that EMP grenade. Okay. We'll just uh, back off until the uh, energy becomes available again. There we go. All right, so let us continue here. Let's see, we got... Uh, oh, there's one over there. I see you down there. There's... Oh, there's a bunch of these. Oh, okay. 
We'll take these down, just in case I need them. I know they are available. And I think what the team is doing is they're distracting me and one person ran off to do the objective. Let's have a look because I saw some signals over here. Just to be safe, let me look around this little campsite and have a look around. Uh, oh, there you go. You see, that's exactly what they were doing. The guys back there were distracting me in combat while one person ran off silently trying to finish the objective. Okay. If that did occur, they could have called in the chopper much sooner and I would have been scrambling to deal with the guy all the way at the chopper and maybe two enemies back in a different area. So, okay. This time, that tactic did not work. But it was a good attempt. There were times in the past I did fall for it. And I was like, oh damn, I'm screwed. I can't catch all of them. <laughs> but uh, this time, I got them. So, uh, I think they have to complete their objective in this area. So, there you are. Okay, there's one. Why is he stuck in the wall? What's going on? Is he glitched? Are we lagging? Something's wrong here. And disappeared? Okay. Not sure what happened there. Okay, so we have like three alive. One is a bot because someone, I guess, lost connection or left. That's okay. Let's go back here. Oh, and someone else came to complete the objective in this area. Okay. Got him with the arrow, right in the butt. <laughs> and then he's down. Take that skull for the trophy. All right. And there should be two left. There's one over here. And then whack. Ooh, I think I, there we go, got him. Take the trophy. Very risky right there, but I'll survive, yeah. Okay, one person left. And there you are. Oh, there you are, on the right side, okay. So I think what I'll do for this one, we're going to let this person get to the chopper and try to finish them off at the very end. Okay? We're going to give this person a chance. We'll give them some hope, okay? In the meantime, let me uh, get this uh, wild pig here, this boar. Going to regen my health. Okay? And then we'll track down that final human and uh, I guess we'll escort him to the uh, chopper scene. If there are some enemies along the way, I'll try to pick them off. And whoa. Okay, that blew up. Where is... Ah, uh... oh, there you are. I see you. Alright. So we're going to follow this dude. But uh, we're not going to attack. We'll give this person a chance to call in the chopper. Okay? Because in the previous matches, I finished it off really quick. So I thought we'll try to get to the very end. And give him one shot in the back. <laughs> Just to remind him, hey, I'm still here. I can see you. Want some candy? All right. Just to make that player a little paranoid and say, oh, I'm still being hunted. The predator can see me. All right, so we got about uh, three minutes and 46 seconds left in the game. Hopefully they can reach the final objective in this stage. That climbing ability is so cool, man. It's smooth. And jumping from tree to tree is really nice. Look at that. Really nice abilities, nice animations. Okay. He's going to this campsite, I guess. Let's see. Oh, this one. Okay, yeah. Oh, this is like the, the big one. I think this is the center area. Okay, so I guess this is not the final area for the chopper. We got three minutes. Come on, get going. Get going, come on. Just go, just go. We've been waiting a while. Let's get to the chopper. There's a bunch of uh, bots waiting for him. Imagine dying to a bot right here at the very end. Yeah. Just going to stalk this person. I like those uh, skulls on my shoulder, man. That's pretty cool. I mean, Celtic has a cool mask, but uh, Chopper has those cool skulls on the back of his shoulders, man. It's it's nice. As for Scar, uh, I'm not too fond of the Scar Predator at all. I mean, he's got that uh, 
that symbol on the forehead of the mask, but that's about it. But uh, I think Chopper and Celtic look cooler. Low on energy. And wow, the wrist blades are bad. The problem with the wrist blades is when you attack, you stop to stab the person, but the wrist blades are kind of short range, so they tend to miss a lot. I guess that's why some players prefer the combine stick or some other weapon that swings in an arc, so you got a better chance of hitting the target at close range. All right, let's uh, go up top from uh, this area. I think uh, this person is running to the chopper area. I think so, so he's making an effort. So we'll let this person... Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, it is. This is the end. I remember. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this game. A very long time, but I remember. Yeah, there we go. Chopper called. Okay, so we're not going to attack. We're going to let this person fend off for themselves. I'm here. Just so you know, I'm here. Okay? I'm still here. <laughs> Don't forget me. Okay, so when the bots come in, I'll let that person deal with the bots, and I'll deal with him at the very end. It's not going to be nice, but uh, we'll give him a chance to escape. We'll give him a chance. There's bots over here to the right. My energy drains very quickly. As long as I stay in the back area, the bots are not going to focus on me. And oh, there is the chopper. This dude is like running frantically all over the place. <laughs> okay, just bring down the cables. Bring it down. I got my axe ready. So when you go for the uh, the ropes there and try to go up, I'm going to swing at you. There it is. So let's wait a bit. The ropes are down. He's going in. Oh, I missed a swing. Let's do two more. And he's down. There we go. I know, I know that was pretty mean. But to be fair, I gave him a chance. So that's it for now. I do like this DLC. I will try the other two Predators in the future. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.